In America, the Windows Phone picture is very different across the top two nationwide carriers. Of those, AT&T packs the wider Windows Phone selection, topped by the high-end Nokia Lumia 920. But say red is more your color. On Verizon Wireless, your Nokia selection is topped off by the mid-range Nokia Lumia 822. Each of these devices has its own particular strengths and weaknesses, so let's explore them. I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now, and this is Nokia Lumia 822 versus Nokia Lumia 920. Now here we've got the white version of both of these devices. On the left is the Lumia 920, and on the right is the Lumia 822. We're going to put these head-to-head -head as quickly as we can in five categories. Specs, build, display, software, and camera. On the spec side, even though we're looking at a mid-range device stacked up against a high-end one, there's not much different in the guts, at least at the core. They both run on a dual-core Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 running at 1.5 GHz and backed up by a gig of RAM. Crucially, and interestingly since the 822 is a lower-range model, both devices feature support for LTE on their respective carriers. That is a huge plus, obviously. The 822 also features support for microSD expansion to boost its onboard 16 gigs of storage. With the Lumia 920, you're stuck with a non-expandable 32 gigs. Speaking of non-removable items, the 920 features an embedded 2000 milliamp hour battery, while the 822 takes a slight amp hour hit to 1800 in exchange for the option to remove it. Although these devices are very clearly from the same manufacturer and look quite similar on video, they're quite different in the hand. The 920 at 185 grams is one of the beefier phones we've encountered, heavier even than the Galaxy Note 2. And at 10.7 millimeters, it's not winning any awards for thinnest of the bunch. But it also boasts not just the best build quality we've seen on Windows Phone, but one of the most premium builds we've seen on smartphones in general. It feels and looks like a luxury device. The Lumia 822 is lighter at 142 grams, but thicker at 11.2 millimeters. Thanks to these sheer sides that remind us of a tumble home hull shape on an old battleship, you feel every millimeter of that thickness in the hand. Now, whether that's a good or a bad thing depends on you, but the combination of lightweight, thick, ungainly design and the prominent chin below the display makes the 822 feel every bit the mid-range device its model number conveys. That lower tier status is further reinforced by the displays chosen for these models. The 822 is fitted with a 4.3 inch 800 by 480 AMOLED panel, while the higher end 920 features a 4.5 inch 1280 by 768 LCD. The blacks are deeper and the colors a bit more saturated on the 822, and both devices feature Nokia's clear black technology as well as its glove-friendly, super-sensitive touch. The 822 is also more visible edge-on, but the higher-resolution, larger panel on the 920 puts out a pixel density of 332 ppi, and that, combined with the smooth 60fps rendering of the Pure Motion HD Plus technology, makes the Lumia 920's panel the winner in our book. Since it debuted two years ago, one thing has remained fairly consistent about Microsoft's new mobile platform. A Windows phone is a Windows phone. By that we mean that performance, including UI fluidity and app launch speeds, is about the same no matter what device you pick, and that seems to hold true for Windows Phone 8 as well. Boot time is identical between these units, and app launch times are so close to identical that it's impossible to call a winner. We'll try a few here, just so you don't have to take my word for it. We like to make sure the phone launches on time. One, two, three, boom. Almost identical, as we say. Let's see if we can hop into messaging. SMS, one, two, three, boom. Almost identical once again. Let's hop back to the home screen here. Email application, one, two, three. Once again, almost identical. And the camera will use the shortcut key on the side here. You may be detecting millisecond differences in these launch times, but that's just because of my inability to hit the button at the same time. These are really, really too close to call. One, two, three, boom. 
Viewfinders are up, the 822 beating the 920 by maybe a tenth of a second. Really nothing that's going to make a difference in day-to-day -day use. Finally, we'll take a look at the browser on each, starting with the 920, coming to the 920 specs page. Go ahead and zoom out, zoom in. We've seen this in our full Lumia 920 review, which you can find elsewhere at pocketnow.com. Very responsive. Doesn't take a long time for the text to re-render when you zoom in quickly. And of course, uh, flick and pass action in the browser is just fine. Let's check it out on the 822, loaded to the comparable page for the 822 specs. Double tap, zoom in. Once again, excellent responsiveness with the page fully loaded. Swiping. There's a little bit less inertia on the A22's display. It doesn't, uh, there's no, it, it's difficult to explain, but it doesn't cover as much ground when you flick. But uh, that is not a knock on the device. That's just, it just handles touch input differently. Certainly no surprises here. Windows Phone continuing to behave the same across different models, even from high tier to mid tier comparison points. Using the Windows Phone benchmarking app, WP Bench shows us similar results as well, with the 822 scoring 245.02 .02 and the 920 scoring 233.5 in its performance test. Both of these devices feature cameras in the 8 megapixel class, 8.0 on the 822 and 8.7 on the Lumia 920. The 920, of course, features the special PureView optical stabilization technology, whereas the 822 does not. Both cameras perform very well, though their output varies based on lighting conditions. Sometimes the 920's camera delivers colors more true to life, but other times it favors more brilliant colors with higher saturation. The 920's camera did perform better in low-light situations, as expected given its optimization. In the end, you're looking at two excellent but very different Windows Phone 8 devices. On Verizon, the Lumia 822 is the highest-end Nokia Windows Phone you can get for now. And though its screen is low res and its body is clunky, it still delivers a solid software experience, a good camera, and LTE. Plus, it's got expandable memory, and that's not a bad feature set for $49.99 on contract, if you can stomach the design. On AT&T, the Lumia 920 is $50 more expensive on contract, it's heavier, and it's got non-removable battery and no expandable storage. But in exchange, there is a much bigger, better display, beautiful hardware design, and one of the best smartphone cameras around. If you've got solid AT&T LTE coverage and no beef with America's number two wireless carrier, the Lumia 920 is undoubtedly the classier contender here. As always, though, it all comes down to what works for you. Each of these, at the end of the day, is a very capable smartphone in its own right. Folks, hope you enjoy the comparison between the 822 and the 920. We have a lot more on these devices at pocketnow.com, including a full review of the Nokia Lumia 920 and a forthcoming review of the Lumia 822. To make sure you don't miss it, follow us on Twitter. Pocketnow Tweets is the official account. You can follow me. I'm at Captain Two Phones as well. Visit us at pocketnow.com. Leave a comment there if you have something to say. Leave us a thumbs up here on YouTube if you liked what you saw. And thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.